Good evening from Baltimore. This is Alistair Williamson. Today's the 20th of June, 2017. I've got a breaking news event which has been circulating local wirehouses for the past few sessions here. And it reads, Baltimore City running low on uh, opioid overdose remedy. That remedy is naloxone. And what it can literally do when administered correctly is bring back an individual overdosing on heroin to life. Basically, when you're overdosing, your body is shutting down. And what this drug can do is bring you back to life. And that is something that I personally have watched at these clinics. Now, I can tell you, uh, at these clinics and the ones I've been to and I've seen, uh, it is a, a horrendous sight considering the environment and the neighborhood around these clinics. Abandoned row homes, uh, just a no industry, no opportunity, trash everywhere. It looks like a third world country. Now, the clinic that I was at has about 3,000 patients who are needing treatment for uh, opioid uh, addiction come in there each and every single day, and it's usually in the early morning, 7 30, 8 o'clock. And it actually looks like there's a bunch of people in the streets getting ready for work, and it's the only thing that are in these abandoned neighborhoods that is lively or that are lively which are these opioid clinics it's very very sad so what is happening in baltimore is that we're descending into chaos on many fronts it's not just homicides that we have the highest in the country homicide rates the highest in the country it's uh this drug epidemic which is sweeping in baltimore in the past few years and it's very very bad you know baltimore started its descent back into chaos uh, after the Ferguson effect in that 2015 time frame, murders and crime just went through the roof after, uh, after the Ferguson uh, stuff went down. So that's very unfortunate. Fortunate. We see that. Um, and, and what's happening is it's spreading throughout Maryland. I was with uh, county officials, Baltimore County officials, who told me, they said, Alistair, you have seen nothing yet when it comes to this, uh, this epidemics in uh, crime and, uh, and homicide. You've seen nothing yet. Basically, this, uh, this compression here in the city of all this crime and homicides, it's being pushed out from the city into the county. Now, what's happening in Maryland overall is that uh, the opioid fatalities year over year from 15 to 16 is up 66%. That's about 2,100 deaths in 2016. Now, out of those 2,100 deaths, we have about 700, that's one third, coming from Baltimore City. To understand how big Baltimore City is in relation to Maryland as a whole, the whole entire state, Baltimore City is like this, just a little little teeny dot. Maryland is like this. So it's very interesting that uh, a third of these uh, fatalities in consideration to overdosing on, on opioids and heroin and pills, uh, a, a lot of that is in Baltimore City. And that is uh, something that we need to raise awareness about how the city is decaying. The inner city is decaying on multiple fronts and it's being pushed out and spread uh, to other outlying areas. Uh, so this is Alistair Williamson from Baltimore. We want to raise the awareness, and this could be a national story, as Baltimore City is running low on opioid overdose remedy called naloxone. And my advice to you, if you're doing heroin or pills and uh, you're going to overdose, don't be in Maryland. Let me tell you that. Do not be in Maryland because your life might not be saved. You might not be revived uh, back from an overdose because naloxone is running scarce here. Stockpiles are at ultra low levels, so the stockpiles have to be sp spread thinly uh, over, over a year. So this is just very alarming stuff. Don't go to Baltimore if you do drugs. This is Alistair Williamson. Hey buddy, are you okay? You're cool? Yeah, let me uh, let me look for something. Oh. Here. Water. Yeah, please drink that. Yeah. Thank you. Yep.